attacking five obscura paintings for a client. Handle it, Rana. Greetings and welcome back to some more Lara Croft Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness. The final level, Eckhart's Lab. But I remember the, the, the boss battles are incredibly anticlimactic from what I remember. Oh, he's no dicking around with his, uh... Wow, can you imagine Eckhart going to all this bother? Oh! <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is sticking out. Oh! I can't help but notice that this... Le yeah, this level keeps starting with no sound and it's not until I jump to this platform. There we go. Well, I did just lose half my health. Hmm. I do like that we haven't just run straight into a... Oh, this is pretty sweet, actually. I love it. It's like walking into a, a an 80s, like, sort of Victorian era kind of... A uh, scientist lab, you know, like what you would get in a sort of vaguely science fiction-y film set in that area. Not steampunk exactly, but kind of in the city, like maybe adjacent to it. But I do like that we haven't just, um, there is a switch there, I just want to have a wee look around first. Oh, I like that fireplace, that's pretty cool. Um... I do like that we haven't just gone straight into the, um, oh god, do we even want, oh, there's a health pack there. Uh, we haven't gone straight into the boss battle, you know, like, I, I, it's something I do like about Tomb Raider, like other games would just throw you straight into a boss battle for the final level, whereas um, Tomb Raider always either had the final level be a build-up to that boss battle, or, or, well, mostly be a build-up to that boss battle, or you'd have a boss battle and then you'd have some platforming and then you'd maybe have another boss battle or confrontation or something. What am I supposed to pick up here? Oh. Okay. So let me just go through all the antique flintlocks and all that just to get to whatever this is. Alchemic file... Alchemically purified oxygen. Okay. Okay then, well I guess we flip the switch. Oh, I didn't go through there to see what that was. Oh, that was a multi-purpose switch. Oh! Oh, hi! Um, I think I'm going to drop down here. I was just um, looking at the... Oh. I thought I could drop down into that hole there. That cross, it, well, it's a, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no sound in this level until I reach that platform. Why is that? See, no sound. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. No sound. That's weird. Uh, 
Lara, don't turn around like that. Jump, Lara. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, bugger, I lost most of my health, though. There we go. Right, so yes, this cross, that's the St Andrew's cross. Because Andrew was, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't describe myself as a Christian in any sense of the word, but um, uh, as I understand it, Andrew was one of Jesus' disciples and he got crucified on a cross like that because we tend to think of crucifixions as being the kind of, you know, like the, 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 the cross that Christ was crucified on, you know, that symbol of Christianity. But you got those in the Exes as well and Andrew was crucified on one of them. Um, and uh, St Andrew is the patron saint of Scotland uh, hence why the Scottish flag it is a St Andrew's cross but it's on its side if you understand what I mean so yeah that's where the cross on the St Andrew's flag comes from kind of a bit shit that that's what people like when, when pe people are, are, are uh, uh, making a symbol in your memory, they 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 make they make it the X the the cross that you were crucified on. I mean that kind of sucks. Didn't have a look round here. Oh, right. Well, there's steam coming off that. There's droplets, despite the fact there's no water. What's that? Oh, here, that, f that file thingy doesn't go in there, does it? Is there something? There is something in there. Uh, do you know something? See when those skeleton guys came out? I should have just gone up the steps, because, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they can't follow me. Although I do know that it didn't occur to me till after uh, I played the um, the uh, Vault of Trophies level. These skeleton guys are a heck of a lot tougher than the ones that um, are a lot deadlier than the ones in the Hall of Seasons. Because you know the Hall of Seasons ones just kind of moonwalked about the place? Oh no we don't because it... no. Okay. Well, let's flip this switch and then get up those stairs. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Oh, I do like this though. This is really nice. Like just everything, you like even the colour palette of this room. is really nice that sort of greenish yellow color that's that's lovely when oh, I like the shadows on the wall right what is this Ah, so that's the first vial, even though it's a completely different colour. So the second one is whatever... What's in that uh, cage? How do I... Oh, interesting. How do I get to that? I'm probably going to fall to my death in this attempt, so let's just save. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Oh. <gasps> ah! Ah! How do I get back out of here? Hi, Lara. Well, we so rarely get to actually have a proper look at, at, at Angel of Darkness Lara up close, don't we? Doesn't she look lovely? I have occasionally played Rise and... Uh, oh, no, not so much Shadow. But uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider as Angel of Darkness Lara. Because, come on, it is a cool look. I, I didn't actually check to see if her boobs jiggle all over the place in, in Rise, but... um. Oh, they're not. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We gotta be jiggled there. Boing. <laughs> How do I get back out of here? Because there's not. Hmm. Right, okay. Do I need to... <laughs> ah! Right, well I feel like that wasn't the way to do it. So how do I... I feel like that was an accident and I shouldn't have actually done that. Possibly it has something to do with the cage. Like we need to lower this cage in some way. Hang on, let me just look, Lara. Um, yes, because it is attached to a string thing. I wonder how much torturing he did, because he's got the St Andrew's Cross. He's got that thingy there. I forget what it was called, but it was a way of slowly killing somebody. You would just put them in that cage and hang them up until they starved or died of thirst. Um, then you've got the cage. Can't jump onto the cage, can I? Like onto the top of it. Ah! Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap, how do I... Oh snap. Get up onto the top and then that'll let us get into the thingy. Up, Lara. Up, 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 up. <sighs> but I mean, again, how do we? Hi, Lara. No, how do we get but oh actually there's some markings on that wall. That's not oh god Lara. Why can't you just go down either way? Ah there's absolutely nothing on that wall there. I was actually thinking about that dark patch to the uh to the left of her. There's Don't you dare fall into that pit. There we go. I'm not sure if it's any faster though jumping like that because... Right, okay, that's one way to do it, I suppose. 
because uh, she always has that little reaction thingy of, oh, I'm losing my grip, or oh, no, I'm not. Right, so I've actually picked up two of those file thingies. So where does the third one go? Where does the third one go? I'm going to go back up here to have a look around. It's just safer. So we put one in that thingy up by the pool. We put one in the thingy that's up along on this level. So where does the third one go? Ah, there's one. Ah, oh, there's one below it. Right, okay. Lara, come on. I'm guessing this is to get that door open. Oh, ah, we're getting more, yes, because this is what Angel of Darkness does so well, these nice little pattern thingies. Ooh. Oh, it's, um, I don't know what that is. I was kind of hoping that that would... Oh, oxygenate it? Well, maybe it's made the water safe. One way to find out, I suppose. Oh. Yes, it has. Uh, that was meant to be a swan dive. <laughs> Instead of a sprinting jump. Ooh. Ah! Ha ha ha. Yes, can I coax both of you round this way? Oh, you can't look when you're in water. Ah, well, fortunately I can see his reflection. Right, okay. No. God's sake. Oh, okay, they're just going around that way anyway. Right, okay, okay, okay. Bye. I mean, I'm hoping they can't follow me. Oh, it's sliding. You've got to give it to... Oh, well, I feel like we're going into the... Did I just save? I think I just saved. Well, I'm going to save over that last one there. Because I have a feeling we're about to go into the... Oh, God, maybe I should have saved after the cutscenes. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, yeah, here we go. don't know if there's anything around... Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, that music. Oh, she's got her shades on! The sensation you're experiencing is the quickening! There can be only one! Oh, I don't like the way his legs are spraying out like that. Still alive, Miss Croft. You are resilient. <laughs> and I don't know, know why, why we need crotch shots. 
But there's quite a few of them. There's a few Curtis Crotch shots in this. Is this about where Lara says she's going to enjoy killing Eckhart? So I guess it's up to me to stop you. I hunted down and killed the last of the Lux Veritatis. I am immortal. The shards. Scary, huh? For you. It is my destiny to bring hell on earth. You are nothing to me. Do you know, it's going to be a real pleasure to shut you up. <laughs> 